outside of our hips. Hands are going to be outside of our hips. Feet underneath the hips. We're going to walk back with it. Set it down. Probably use the tumble plate and then put that, that, that starting position. Big chest. Shoulders retract because we're going to hold that load. Nice solid grip. Kick it up. Walk it back. We let our hips lead us down. Shoulders to the knees. Go down together and then come back up together. Let it go down. Set up. On our way up. One of the first things we do is not only extend our hips, but push our knees forward just a little bit to help us do that. To get up to go vertical. Again, here. Fire it up forward. Daughters hit the knees. They go up together and they go down together. Work to keep our focal point forward. Again, we can carry that load with our shoulders retracted back like this. Big chest, flat back, eyes forward. Hips staying higher than the knees. Shoulders higher than the hips, but higher than the knees. Eyes stay up. Right there. Bar stays tight to the body. Yes, stand on up. Push them hips forward. Yes. Non-traditional exercise, the tire flip. Trying to get as close to the tire as possible, eliminating space. Separate our feet, drop our hips, still keeping our hips slightly above our knees. Shoulders higher than our hips. And then we extend our hips explosively up and fire it forward. The deadlift using the hex bar, which gives us a variation in changing our grip to neutral. Regression movements that are helpful for both exercises are the RDL and the good morning. In the good morning, we load the bar, we load our spine, then we back up with it and then hinge at the hips. Place your hands where you choose, just a preference of mine, extending them all the way out against the, the bumper plates. Feet are usually about hip width apart. Start with a slight bend in the knees and a slight hip hinge. Work to control the bar down, and then we can fire it up by extending our hips. The Romanian deadlift, the RDL, gives us some variations in grip. As far as the clean grip, which is a little bit more narrow, or the snatch grip, a little bit wider. In this movement, we wanna approach the bar and get as tight to it as possible to make sure the trajectory of the bar is vertical. So it's staying tight to our body, eliminating space once again. Hinging at the hip, soft knee bend, decelerating down and then extending those hips. In our movement downward, we wanna make sure to have a neutral spine one of the cues we usually give is big chest, flat back. Common mistakes are rounding up the back or elevating our hips prior to our shoulders lifting out. So one of the things we want to work on is shoulders, hips, and knees rise at the same time. Keeping that bar tight to our body when we're picking it up, setting it down, and throughout the movement working to avoid yanking the bar, which tends to affect or, or strain our back some. So we wanna work with our arms locked. Being mindful of how we set the bar down, taking our hips down first and keeping that bar tight to the body. Remember shoulders, hips and knees must rise at the same time. Progressions of the movements, an RDL to a jump shrug which is utilized in an Olympic lift, whether we're doing the clean or the snatch. Repeating the same movement pattern as for the RDL, but by the time the bar reaches the hips, we're gonna extend our hips fully, elevating our shoulders and our heels. Medicine ball toss, essentially the same grip as we would in doing a tire flip. Separate our feet about hip width apart, making sure that we are as tight to the object that we are lifting. We wanna be as explosive as possible on our way up. So as our shoulders, hips, and knees rise upon extension, we wanna to try to leave the floor as well, working on power.
The benefits of the deadlift and the tire flip movements are for improvement in strength and power, generating explosiveness from the trunk, correlating to movements as the Olympic lifts, the clean and jerk, or the snatch, possibly being offensive lineman in football, or even more so for lifestyle functional movements and picking something up off the ground. Advantages in performing these movements are the targeting of multiple groups of muscles for the trunk. Major muscle groups utilized, the gluteus maximus, the semimembranous, the semitendinosus, bicep femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, vastus medialis, and the rectus femoris. All are helpful in developing strength and power. In addition, this movement allows for stability of the abdominal muscles and the lower back. This movement is appropriate for everyone. It's a part of daily life, the lifestyle, picking something up off the ground, lifting at a job, competing in a sport. It works for every part of life and person.